In this module, we are going to start the fermenter design. But before discussing the details of fermenter design, we will discuss some basic positive point that we referred that fermentation process is better than the chemical synthesis, why we prefer the fermentation process over other processes. So when we say that we want to produce any product on an industrial level, so if we use the fermentation process, then with the help of the fermentation process, we can say that with the fermentation process involved as soon as possible, mean the initial start in fermentation process for the production of byproduct is very short as compared to other methods. So with the fermentation, we can produce the product as fast as possible because we can control the rate of production. So the third is through fermentation process as much as possible. So we can control over the concentration, we can regulate the yield during the fermentation process. So the fourth one as long as possible. So we can run the fermentation process for a long time. So the duration is not problem. The fifth, so as cheap as possible. So if we control all the parameters involved in fermentation process, then we can focus the cost of the product. As simple as possible mean it is very easy to handle the fermentation process. And the last, as desirable as possible. So the regulatory issues are very simple and very easy to control. So keep in mind the initial start, rate of production, concentration and the yield, duration, cost of the production, ease of the work during the production, and the regulatory issues, fermentation process is preferred over other chemical and ordinary processes by which we can produce any product. So, if we want to produce any byproduct, any bioproduct through fermentation process, so that whole come in a process design and control. That whole situation of the fermentation based upon process design. That how we control our process. But the process design and the control further subdivided into that what kind of the fermentation types we are using. Means solid state fermentation, liquid fermentation, means submerged fermentation. And process design as we have already discussed that fed batch, batch are a continuous culture. But these types of fermentation and process design and the major is that the fermenter design, that how we have our ferment design. When we talk about the fermenter design, Later we will discuss that what is the fermenter. Fermenter is basically the heart of the fermentation process. That is basically the stage to grow a biomass or an organism because as we know that uh, the definition of the fermentation is that is the mass culture of the organism for the sake of desired product. So when the organism has to grow that needs some space. So the fermenter is basically provide us the space. So the fermenter design is also based upon 
performance, optimization, construction, configuration, and control. Then, on the basis of these five different parameters, then we have a good fermenter or, a, say, the space or a stage for a biomass or an organism. So, on the other hand, if we say that we need a better productivity of these biological products, then we also focused on the stain improvement, that what kind of the organism we are using, that what type of the media we are using, and then how we our control our process. As I have already mentioned that process control and design is basically focused upon type of fermentation, process, and then the fermented design.